안녕하십니까? 3분 서울 삼성 치과 원장 전진입니다. Greetings, I am Dr. c h n Jin of Seoul s a n b u n Samsung Dental Clinic. Today I'm going to talk about the retrievability and repair of implanted prosthesis. This is the contents. These are complications of implant, the intraoperative, postoperative and prosthesis related complications. Apart from the complications that were measured ahead, there can be many complaints we can face. If the prosthesis is low, cheek biting, it feels uncomfortable, the antagonist is uncomfortable, there's food impaction. The natural tooth is connected to bone with a PDL, but dental implant has direct bone contact. Regarding movement due to force, as for natural tooth, there is movement first in the PDL. However, the implant is restricted by the bone. When lateral force is applied, it is delivered to one third of the root. However, in the case of implant, it is concentrated on crestal bone. When overload is applied in the case of natural tooth, the PDL space becomes enlarged. There can be mobility and wear first. In the case of implant, there can be mechanical problems, a screw loosening, fracture of screw abutment, and implant body, and so forth. As implant functions, there can be abutment or abutment screw fractures. The implant itself can fracture as well. In the case, you can use ESR kit or EFR kit to solve the problem. This will be addressed in detail in the prosthetic master course. Today, I want to focus on situations where there's problem with the prosthesis. For various reasons, the prosthesis repair occurs. It may be caused due to sinking down of abutment, proximal contact, loosening, and fracture of prosthesis. In the case of internal conical structure, once occlusal force is continuously applied, there is a settling effect between abutment and implant, and because of it, there is a sinking down effect. Once this occurs, occlusion becomes low, and the preload of screw is reduced, and screw loosening occurs. Implant contact loosening occurs very frequently. Physiologically, the natural tooth moves mesially, and the implant does not move. And because of this, on the mesial side of the implant, there is space. As shown on the image, the contact is widened, and then the patient may complain of food impaction. You can check visually. The flaws can go through without resistance, and with that, you can check proximal contact loosening. Even with adjustment, natural tooth continues to move, so there will be further proximal contact loosening. This is a case of fracture which requires repair. Next, I'm going to talk about repair methods. Retrievability of implant prosthesis is very important. Management of sinking down and repair of proximal contact loosening will be addressed. Unlike natural tooth prosthesis, retrievability is very important in implant prosthesis to be able to solve problems. If there is food impaction below abutment, Thorough cleansing is not possible with just scaling or root planing. The only way to do it is to remove abutment, clean it, and then put it back on. As shown on this image, if the abutment is over contoured, then it will be impossible for the patient to do self cleansing. The cemented prosthesis without removing abutment, you will not be able to. Remove it thoroughly. For retrievability, removing excess cement is important. In the case of screw type prosthesis, you remove the filling and unscrew it, then you can retrieve it. It is favorable for maintenance. In the case of cement type, you need to form screw hole, and then you can remove the bonded prosthesis and abutment. You need to put repair in mind, and if you use 
cement that is less strong, then you can retrieve the prosthesis by applying appropriate force. At times, people use unique ways to retrieve it. One piece of abutment was loosened, and you can cut the proximal surface and then retrieve it. If the situation is not easy, prosthesis or abutment, even if it means damaging them, you need to retrieve it. In the case of ear type prosthesis, one set, it is the same as screw type prosthesis, so it is easy to retrieve prosthesis. Compared with cement type, ER type, and screw type are easier to retrieve. In order to reduce uh, the probability of repair, you need to pay attention to sinking down. In order to respond to it, it is important to have the patient wear provisionals. Sinking down occurs in the early stage of abutment connection, so if you provide a provisional, then you can provide final prosthesis after a sufficient amount of settling effect. If you cannot use provisional, Upon connection of the abutment, you need to have the patient bite on the cotton roll for 5 to 10 minutes to get the settling effect. By doing this, you'll notice that the screw can be tightened even further. With the same amount of torque, you can induce a settling effect and restore the preload on screw. If possible, you need to do retightening multiple times. So once sinking down occurs, the preload on abutment screw is reduced. You need to tighten in order to restore preload. In many literature, an in internal conical connection implant, it is recommended to do retightening on abutment screw multiple times. Next is about repair of proximal contact loosening. When this is anticipated in the proximal contact, you can form a box where resin can be filled. If there is no box, then you can form a small cavity and perform class 2 resin adding. In most cases, you use to do contact adding after sending to the lab. If there's contact loosening and cement type prosthesis, you need to check the amount of contact loosening. If possible, you need to retrieve it first. After that, you reposition the prosthesis, and with when you take a pickup impression, then Impression is taken with the prosthesis in the impression body. Using this, a model is made and contact is added. If you pour stone within the prosthesis, a abutment type of stone can fracture and it is very difficult to retrieve the prosthesis, so you need to use pattern resin that is stored with pin. Contact adding is performed at the lab and you do try in in oral cavity. In the case of screw type prosthesis, retrievability is good, so you can use it like transfer impression coping to take impression. You can check a contact loosening in this way. Within the screw hole, the filling is removed. Like a transfer coping impression with the prosthesis in place, impression is taken. Once impression of the prosthesis has been taken, a prosthesis is removed from oral cavity. Lab analog is connected. Like the transfer coping impression, this is connected to the prosthesis on impression material and you make model using stone and gum tissue materials. You can do contact adding here on the model. On the model, the proximal surface is adjusted. In order to do contact adding, abutment and crown needs to be detached. The recommended way to do this is to put it in the furnace to do de-cementation. Once heat is applied, the physical property of cement becomes weaker so you can detach the crown from the abutment. If the temperature increases beyond 500 degrees, the surface of the abutment changes. Therefore, it is safe to heat only up to 400 degrees. If you don't have a furnace, then you can do direct torching. You do not do this on the abutment directly. You apply heat on the lab analog for indirect heating. Once cement becomes a weak, you can separate it using crown forcep. 
Prosthesis is connected to lab analog and plier is used to hold lab analog and direct torching can be applied to heat it. If heat is applied directly on prosthesis, porcelain can crack or there can be changes on abutment surface so you need to do it gradually and if more is needed you can do it then. After heating, you apply shock to the plier so that force can be indirectly transferred and abutment and crown can be separated. If it does not really work, you can do torching once again and repeat the same routine to detach abutment from crown. As mentioned, abutment and crown has been separated. After that, conventional contact adding can be performed. In this lecture, I've talked about repair process of implanted prosthesis. Compared with other prosthesis, implanted prosthesis requires more oral hygiene and professional maintenance. Specifics will be shared in offline master course. Stay tuned for more lectures on different topics. Thank you.